recording now? Mm-hmm. No, yeah. Hey, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. And welcome to San Diego. I'm having a fantastic time over here. Just uh, spent a weekend in um, Hollywood with a bunch of uh, pickup artists. There was a seminar over there for a fantastic event where men, you know, learn to be more grounded, more present, and uh, really engage in the, in the dating scene with basically more communication skills, seduction skills, and it was really great to see these men being really empowered in that space. I've been teaching uh, them also some vital sex techniques, which are the seminars that I was um, engaging into at, uh, at Burning Man. And I was just l- listening now to a track of um, the human experience. It's called uh, Dusted Compass, and it's a remix from Future Primitive. And it's, it's just this freaking music is so amazing. Um, at Burning Man, uh, these DJs were, were playing every night. You know, we had a lineup of um, about 50 different DJs at the, our camp, Secret Spaces. And we were doing these rituals or these ceremonies uh, in the middle of the night with groups in circles and really these prayer poses. And I realized how much this music are like gateways of consciousness. They really project mm-hmm. your mind <laughs> into, into amazing spaces. And um, that's what we are doing. It's like a modern, almost like religious, but it's not religion because there is no, no conscious system, you know, there are no dogmas or something like that, but it's like, it's really a gateway of consciousness. The music itself are gateways. When you have all this visionary art, they are gateways and they open your mind, align yourself with uh, something. It's a teaching, it's a tuning in of, of our minds, our potential as human race. What do you yeah. think, Bilal? Yeah. Well, I love this subject. I'm thrilled that you bring it up because in going to the burn this year, I really was feeling this invocation that the people that were collectively drawn together to co-create this experience were keys that opened this energetic portal that we were bringing to Burning Man. It was this transformative portal and it's basically, you know, all of our practices you know, our mantras, our meditations, what we live as human beings was being invoked in this space and we offered that energy to Burning Man and I feel like it was amazing and profound and I'm getting goosebumps right now. (laughs) Just by thinking about it. Just by thinking about it, like you were talking about the artists and their music and the portal and doorway of which they invoke when they make their music and it was, you know, I really like to be mindful about who I'm listening to and who they are as a person because that is coming through them, through their music, through the speakers, into my being. And so I'm really conscious and mindful about that. But that music at Sacred Spaces and those beings that draw drawn to our likeness was yeah. amazing and profound and we received so much transformation so in the presence of their transformative transmissions, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and we forgot to mention something. It's the food <laughs> the food baby the food, the food the food is a portal as well right it is it is i mean it's we really felt that the hearth which we dubbed the kitchen and the dining experience at burning man uh was what nourished these practitioners these these musicians these vital sex coaches these transformative um, beings that are out there giving their message and we really wanted to put love into the food yeah. We wanted the food to be loved. This man, this man is a ma- magician, I can tell mm. you. Um, you know, the recipes this year were relatively simple, right? Nothing too complex, but right. I can tell you that by eating it, you could, you could feel how much uh, bliss you had been mm-hmm. pouring in it. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's you. true, you know, um, it changes your experience. It actually opens up. It opens your heart. It opens your chakras. It does all sorts of things. Yeah, so yeah. the combination of being on the plier with all this celebration, 60,000 crazy uh, paradise seekers yeah. engaging in there and spending the whole year preparing for this event and then we had mm-hmm. this massive massive celebration with mm-hmm. i don't know what secret space we had about 150 different workshops and yeah. portal openings Throughout and ceremonies and classes and lectures and so it's like this massive boost of consciousness and opening mm-hmm. the, and, and yeah. the food and the yeah and there okay. was another underlying factor that really supercharged our experience at Sacred Spaces and it was the alignment of the city and how the kitchen was a portal for the information and we had a hearth that was designed to transmit this information through the center line of camp, through the DJ, through the middle of the courtyard 
activating this area and blasting all the energy back off to the man, which was a transmitter for to the rest of the playa. Oh, we designed yeah. it like that, and that was our intention behind it, and it really, it really worked. I so you, you didn't see this piece of art that we love created, but it's like this beautiful pyramid structure that was right in the middle of the kitchen or, or the um, you know dining area. So this was bringing everybody together. There was a fire there, a fire but a pit. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And, um, and uh, it's all about magic. Uh, there were pyramids everywhere on the playa this year. Yeah. And um, symbolically enough, I was coming back from, you know, I was in Egypt <laughs> about eight months ago, so I'm already mm -hmm. covered by you know, I tattoo and paint pyramids on mm -hmm. my body. Yep. We're using the symbols. You see the flower mm -hmm. of life. This is another one for the, the portal of the for the temple mm -hmm. that was created this year, which was also a pyramid structure. So we are using lots of magic here. Absolutely, right? absolutely. <laughs> by doing what we love, the magic is created by the love in our hearts when we do these things in our life, yeah. and it is transmitted to the rest of the world. So follow your bliss. Yeah. Do what you love. Follow your bliss. Yeah. Share it with the world. And uh, realize that uh, there are lots of forces in, in invisible which are at play with that. We are, mm. you know, simply tuning into something which is being uh, like a form of transmission and we are creating the forms that are a result of a very profound and deep inspiration that comes through us. And um, I want this to go on. My, my wish is that, uh, is that uh, this, this celebration go on. You know, there are lots of things which are very stable on this planet. The business structures and the roads and the traffic and... And the way traditional society functions, but this kind of, you know, grassroots projects and things that are really mm. suddenly opening gateways that are not yet fully active on the planet. This is really a transmission. There is something magical happening at Burning Man every year. Mm -hmm. You know, 60,000 people coming together. For me, it's like the, the, the most incredibly creative um, event. Uh, yeah. You know, the places are creative as well, but this is like something happens there which is a um, radical self-expression, expression of freedom mm -hmm. and this music that um, I was telling you about, all these DJs and wow, yeah. gateways, yeah, Woo! beautiful <laughs> gateways and, and, and uh, exploration of new ideas in the way of living, how we can live together cohesively in communities and so Burning Man you has, have all these parcels of land and you can apply to create a theme camp and in this theme camp you create your own structure. Yeah. your own type of environment, your own container, which a community gathers and, and co-creates and mm. lives together. And so we're exploring new ideas about living on this planet, yeah. you Beautiful. know, that are more sustainable, more supportive of consciousness and health and creativity and the heart. And I think that's super powerful and it's fun, yeah. right? Yeah. It's fun. I think I'm going to, to call this video <laughs> After Burn Bliss. <laughs> I love this guy. Oh, uh, wow, man. Yeah. Jesus. Okay, that's all for now. That's, yeah. it. that's the download. Love you. <laughs> love you. We'll see you next year. Mwah.